Hey guys, good morning. This is the Constable Outdoorsman. Well, I'm on vacation right now, and I wanted to kind of give you a little idea of what we're going to be doing today. We're down here on the White River in Cotter, Arkansas, and we are with uh, the number one trout guide on the river here. His name's Charlie Willette, and with Willette's Guide Service, he has been our, our good friend for, golly, for probably almost 15 years. And we love Brother Charlie. Um, he, he, the boat and stuff that they use here is a little bit different than what we're used to seeing in the north. And so we're going to go after some trout here today, probably some browns and rainbows. And I, you know, we don't have any of the other kind of trout in this river, I don't think. Is that right, Charlie? Got cutthroats and brooks. Got cutthroats and brooks, all right. So how are we gonna how are we gonna rig up? Are we gonna use like that White River rig? We're gonna use the Arkansas White River rig. We're gonna probably be fishing with sculpins and shad, uh, maybe shrimp, corn possibly, but uh, mainly we'll be be, be drifting, uh, sculpins and shad to start with this morning. All right. Trying to catch some browns. You bet. All right, guys. Well, I got my wife with me, and uh, I know she's gonna whoop me. Uh, she always does a better job fishing than I do. Uh, she's a lot better fisher woman, fisher person. Did we catch them? So, hey, it's the Consulman Outdoorsman. We'll catch you on the cast. Uh, I'm going to have to put my arm in a cast here in just a minute. We'll talk to you guys later. And Gene's got a good one on. Big brown. There he is. Yeah, a little more, a little more. Out of the way from boat. Got him in the net. Now that one there, good job, Gene. <laughs> now that one there was caught on a sculpin. Yeah. Let me see them, brother Charlie. Oh, you didn't have to give me that. I'd have, I'd have held that. Turn around here, Gene. <laughs> I got you on video. On nice. <laughs> Very nice. All right, guys. Well, it's Constable Outdoors. We're back out here. Well, we've done pretty good so far. We've only been out here probably an hour, hour and a half. And uh, Jean, let me show you, Miss Jean. Say hi, Miss Jean. Uh, she is, how many caught so far? A bunch. A bunch. <laughs> Well, we got one. Uh, she got a nice, big, nice brown. Uh, not 24 inches. They got to be 24 inches long to keep. And about got 18 inches long. And uh, we've got four keepers in the boat so far. So nice rainbows. A lot of naturals. So there's a difference between the natural and the planted fish. They do a lot of planting of uh, fish here. And uh, but the natural fish, they got a better color to them. They got all their fins. I think with the the ones that they plant, they cut one of the fins off so that they can identify them. All right, well, guys, and, and oh, by the way, I've caught a couple. I caught one brown, literally one brown, me. And she's like whooping my tail. All right, it's Constant Outdoors, but we'll catch you later. Taking a quick run down the river. We're getting to, trying to get ahead of the moss. Uh, they started running some water out of the uh, power treatment or the uh, power plant out of Lake Norfolk. So, running, making a run down the river. It is gorgeous. score so far. Uh, Gene has got about 22, 23. We've been here uh, probably an hour and she's probably got into that. I've gotten one one nice brown, but that's it. One, one brown fit, brown trout. So I'm getting my tail handed to me. That's okay. That's what it's all about. We love it. Uh, every time she catches it, she's like, woo! So she's having a great time. We're loving it. Uh, Brother Charlie is just fantastic. If you're looking for a guide service, uh, Charlie Willette's guide service out of Cotter, Arkansas, and I'll put the link up on the on this as well. But Charlie Willette is the number one guide on this on the White River here. If you're looking for a trout fishing trip, uh, most reasonable. He's just he's a good Christian man. So God's been good to us. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so with Brother with Charlie, uh, a lot of these, a lot of times people don't know how to throw a rod very well and put it in the right spot and uh, so what he does he'll he'll put it out there for you and um, in the right spot and then hand you the rod and so you're still catching fish so um, we're drifting drift fishing and we're using what's called the white river rig so basically I'm gonna show you that while they're fishing kind of in real time 
So the way this is set up is you have your sinker up, up here, like this, and it's drifting along, and you got your bait. Now we're using power bait and corn. So it's gonna drift along, just like that right there. And then the trout hit it, because that floats a little higher above the water, water line. That's one of the people going by. How gorgeous is this? There we go. That's how we catch fish. That's a decent fish right there. Right in the net. Good job, Gene. How many does that make for you now? Ten? Keepers? All right, we doubled up. I just got one put in there. Put in the boat. Charlie's putting them in the live well. Gene's got another one on. Nice another fish, just about the same size. There we go. And those are good eater fish, you know. Take those things, wrap them. We're going to release this one. Okay. There you go. Yeah, but guess who's still whooping them? <laughs> well, we got a nice brown on. Uh, you a good one. Taking some drag. Oh, oh right oh. at the boat. Oh, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> he was a little better than last one. Yeah, he was. Oh, well, that's fishing, right, Gene? Another nice brown on. It's a better one than that was before. Okay. Keeping a rod up, a rod bent. He's right here. Oh, that's a good fish. All right, good brown. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Nice job, Jean Ann. Turn it just a little bit sideways. Look at the color on that. How gorgeous is that color? All right. Well, we're uh, making another run here, so it's halfway through the day. Uh, we've caught uh, four brown trout and probably 50 rainbows. Uh, we're keeping just the bigger ones for, uh, for eating on. But uh, we're on the Bull Shoals. On the, this, I said uh, Lake Norfolk earlier, but it's actually it's off Bull Shoals on the White River. Uh, the water that comes out of it through the dam, the power generation plant off Bull Shoals Lake. So um, one of the things that they do is they generate generate power here. And what it is, is right now they generated, they ran up to four units this morning. So the moss was coming down pretty heavy. So they, we checked, we called, uh, the guide called up and they've shut down all the uh, power generation units. So the moss will stop, stop flowing pretty hard. And uh, we had a shore lunch uh, with Charlie Willett's, with Willett's guide service. One of the things that you're gonna get there is a shore lunch which is really cool. Um, and so doing, doing these kinds of things, I mean, you're treated like a king here. So if you're looking for a guide trip, once again, uh, well, that's guide service out of Connor, Arkansas. So we're headed up. We're gonna try to get on some more brown trout. We fished with some sculpins this morning, and now we're gonna drift some shad. And we used power bait and corn, caught a bunch of rainbows on those, uh, caught a cutthroat as well. So it was about 13, 14 inches long. We put it back just because of the environment. 
All right, we'll catch you guys here in just a little bit. All right, guys, well, we're wrapping up our day today uh, with the fishing, but uh, Charlie's going to show us a little bit how he um, fillets and how he processes these fish. It's really slick how he does it, so I want to give you guys a little insight on that one. So he dug and made that cut on the front end there, and you see he's pulling off the guts. It's just so simple the way he does it. Yep. All right. Start to finish here. Catch them first. Yeah, catch them first again. Make this slit here at the throat. Yep. Go to the butt. Go up. Make them catch that gill plate. Pull that all out at once. And that's it. And that's how you. And that's how you process them. I mean, there's, there's that simple. And you cook them that way with the head on. And most people do, some yep. people don't. Yep. If you was gonna, if you was wanting to fry them, I'll show one how to fry it. How to do yeah, how to fry yeah, fry it, yeah. Can't break your neck back here. And that's how it's done. Just that quick and easy. Well guys, hey, this is the Consumant Outdoorsman. And, uh, sorry about that. Uh, Consumant Outdoorsman here. We are cleaning our fish. It's been an amazing day. Once again, I'll put the link up to Charlie Willett's guide service in Cotter, Arkansas. I'll have the link to his website, and I'll have a picture of his call him. Give him a call. I'm telling you right now, hands down, the best guide on the White River trout fishing, and you can't beat it. So I got to give a little props to my wife, Jean Ann. She absolutely just smoked me. It was killer. Uh, we had five browns. We caught right, Charlie? Yes. Yeah, five browns, and I had one that got off. Yeah, I broke, broke the hook right out of the bait at the thing, but we landed five. And she got three, I got two, so she whooped me. But I think that the rainbow count was up in the mid-20s for Gene, and late 20s, probably almost a 30, I would say, and uh, probably around the 10 to 12 mark for me. And But that's okay. That's what we do. We want people to catch fish. We want them to have a good time. So like, si subscribe, share. If you're looking for uh, how to do this, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to show you in another video on how we rig up the White River rig. And I use it up north as well on uh, trout and fish and stuff like that. It's really super simple. Uh, just the way you tie the knot and drop the, the leader down. I showed you in the picture earlier about that. So, hey, we'll talk to you guys later. The Consumant Outdoorsman. We are trout fishing on vacation 2016 April. It is an absolutely gorgeous day. We'll catch you guys the next time.